Well, hey guys, what's going on? Jamie here. Wanted to do another video for you guys, give you a another set of updates or some important things that are going on with some of these different platforms. And I uh, wanted to go ahead and give you uh, as much information as I can. So grab a cup of coffee or, or your favorite beverage or something like that. Because I'm going to go through everything in this video. Because again, there are some important updates that are going on for some of these different platforms. And again, I apologize if you're not in all of these platforms or some of these platforms, you might have to kind of go through the video to find the, the, the platform that you're in. I'm going to start doing standalone videos again for each one of these platforms starting next week. I was trying to do it this week, but as you guys probably can relate, you know, the, the week in between Christmas and New Year's is just, you know, it's a blur, right? There's so much going on. Um, you know, I'm losing track of days, <laughs> traveling a little bit. You know, the kids are, you're, are, are home from school. It's just, it's, it's nuts, right? So, um, again, I wanted to get these uh, these updates out to you because they're important, but, you know, it's going to be a, a, you know, a sizable video because I'm going to cover all the different platforms that I'm in. And again, I will start doing standalone videos again starting next week. So let's go ahead and just jump right into it, guys. A lot to cover. Uh, Drip, as you can see, we'll start off with Drip. Drip sitting at 82 cents. It was closing in on a dollar yesterday, and then there was a big sell off. It dropped down to um, last I checked. Um, it was 75 cents. It may, it may have even dropped lower than that. Let me check. Um, it may have dropped lower than 70 cents. Uh, no, this only shows a little bit. But yeah, it dropped. Uh, last time I checked, it was at 75 cents, and now it's climbed back up to 82 cents. Um, apparently, uh, there was someone who sold off a, you know, a pretty hefty chunk. I think it was like 25,000 drip at one shot. Um, you know, I, I don't know the whole situation. I don't know, you know, why he did that or, you know, what his reasoning is at the end of the day. Um, you know, do I agree with people selling off that big of a chunk at one time? I can't really say, right. I mean, at the end of the day, it's their funds, it's their money. They can do whatever they want with it. Who knows what the situation is? Maybe they had, you know, a family emergency. Maybe they, you know, have someone in their family that's sick. Maybe they have to pay something off. I don't know. That's why I never throw shade at people that are selling because I don't know what their situation is. That being said, you know, if you're going to, if you're going to sell, you know, you probably want to do it in a smarter way. You want to do it, you know, in, in, in uh you, you want to do smaller sales over time rather than, you know, one big sale that'll tank the price. The cool thing about it is, you know, the price came down and then it, you see it coming back up a little bit. Um, you know, it's 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 still higher than where it was it was at 60 cents like 48 hours ago so um still you know overall you know i think it's a steal at this price as you guys probably already know my opinion with it and again it's just my opinion so you know i'm not a financial advisor as you guys know you should be doing your own research and making your own decisions but my opinion is you know there there there's so much utility that's going to be happening soon and a lot of these different projects that you know, getting it at this price is a, is a steal, right? Uh, again, not telling you what to do. Uh, you know, I get people messaging me, all, messaging me all the time. Oh, you just want us to buy drip. I, I can care less if you buy drip or not. If you want to buy drip, great. If you don't want to buy it, great. I mean, the community is big enough right now. And we have enough, you know, drip in our, you know, our position with drip that we're going to make money with this, whether you get in or not, whether you buy another token or not. Do I want people to buy the token? Sure. Okay. But it doesn't make a difference to me one way or the other. So again, I'm not a financial advisor. As, as I said before, I'm just showing you my journey with these crypto platforms. You know, I'm not a licensed professional. So, you know, what do I know? You know, do your own research and figure out what you want to do. Uh, but Drip is doing its thing. You know, Forex just did an AMA. I think it was yesterday. Yeah, it was yesterday. Matter of fact, shout out to Irene. Um, you can check out her notes. I'm not going to go over these notes in this video. I'll probably do another video that you know covers this. Um, but there was an AMA that um, that Forex did. He covered everything on the animal farm, um, both pigs and dogs. I do believe he talked about drip as well. I know there's a, uh, an AMA coming up. I don't know if it's this week or next week, but there's going to be an AMA coming up that I think specifically will talk about drip only. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. But Drip continues to do its thing. You know, Drip is, you know, the, the 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 contract, the faucet contract is working. It's still our biggest money maker. You know, we have quite a bit in the faucet and over several different accounts, as you guys probably know if you've been following our journey with this or you know been on our channel. So we're still making a nice chunk of change every single day from Drip, just on the passive side. So 
you know, Drip is continuing to do its thing. There's no issues with withdrawals. There's no issues with the tax being changed. There's no issues with, you know, there's no changes in the contract. You know, Forex has been pretty adamant about the fact that he wants to be, um, you know, he wants to keep his commitment to the Drip community that he's never going to change the original contract. Now, there can be layers that are built on top of it, and there is going to be a layer two and all this other stuff coming. But as far as the original contract, you know, cool thing about it is cool thing about it is it's running the same way it's running since day one. Okay. Um, and it's been like a year and eight months already. Something like that. Has it been a year and eight months? Might even be more. I, I gotta double check. Um, but yeah, this thing continues to do its thing. Um, let's take a quick look at the animal farm. Um, animal farm 120 million TVL. Uh, very, very impressive and respectable considering the fact that we're in a bear market and the market is it's not doing too well. When you look at the market, it's, you look at this, the market is trending downwards, sideways at best, um, but everything is down. Everything is red. You look at here over the last seven days, right? Uh, so with that being said, you know, is the price of pigs down from where it was? Yes. Is the price of dogs down from where it was? Yes. But it's holding state. I got to check, take a look at what the price is right now. I haven't checked, um, but you know, it's doing its thing. You know, the, the pig pen is working. They just injected, I think last week, over a million dollars into it. Just on one injection alone, that was half a million that was put into the pig pen. Um, you know, dogs is working perfectly fine as far as the dog pound is concerned. Um, this is in my, uh, whoops, what am I doing here? This is in my animal farm wallet. Um, so I'm not going to be able to show you my, my numbers with it, but you can see here if I go to the dog pound, um, you know, dogs is at 30 bucks. You know, there has been a sell off with dogs. People are selling their dogs and that's okay. The more people sell their dogs, the more the dividends are going to be for people that are inside of these pools. And that's the way the protocol works, right? We get a piece of all the different transactions when it comes with dogs, if you're staked in the dog pound and same can be said with the pig pen, right? Um, so yeah, you know, I, I don't know what the price of pigs is right now. I got to check. Um, but yeah, this is, this is doing its thing. This is doing its thing. Let me go to the next uh, platform here. Okay, so we talked about the price of drip. Uh, we talked about uh, the, the AMA notes, right, for Animal Farm. Let's talk about Novatech, okay? Novatech right now, uh, I just checked my account. We're not allowed to show our accounts anymore or inside of our back office. That's why I'm not really showing my accounts anymore. I took some of my videos down, uh, but I am still in. I, I still have 30,000 plus in, the, um, in my trading account, in my trading balance. Matter of fact, let me go to... The website at least you see here okay so yeah you can see here the website's working pretty fast before you know on fridays we would never be able to get into the website because everyone was you know trying to log in at the same time you can see here it's working i just logged in actually a little while ago and i looked at you know what the what the payout was for this week uh, this week's payout was a um, little bit lower than, than than usual. Usually it's an average of 3%, even though the last couple of weeks has been a little bit lower than 3%. This week was 1.25% for the week. <clears throat> um, you know, 1.25% for the week. So again, we are, you know, uh, because of the market and, you know, with what they're doing with their trading, you know, it does fluctuate. It's not a fixed amount. Um, but again, it's still a positive return. Um, it's not the lowest I've ever seen. The lowest I've ever seen was 0.65%. And that was like the first like week that I got in the market crashed like 70%. And yet they paid out a positive return, right? So, you know, we'll see what it is. I'm still in. Uh, if you want to check this out, I will leave a link down below. Again, do your own research, guys, if you want to get in. Um, if you do, only put in what you can afford to lose. Um, there are other platforms that obviously pay more than 1.25% a week. But I like being diversified. And cool thing about this is, you know, the withdrawals are in Bitcoin, right? So I can withdraw Bitcoin. Uh, Bitcoin, even though it's down from where, where, you know, from where it was at as the, you know, as far as the all-time high is concerned, you know, there's not much volatility with Bitcoin. And, and Bitcoin is, you know, it's kind of the granddaddy of, of of the cryptocurrency. So I do have a pretty sizable position in Bitcoin, and I like increasing that position because I'm bullish on it over time, right? Not looking at it right now. I'm looking at it over the next three, four, five years. Um, you know, I, I like where that where you know Bitcoin could potentially go. So the fact that this is um letting me withdraw out in Bitcoin, 
um, you know, it's pretty cool. And again, it's been working for a couple of years. So again, if you want to check out Novatech, you can. Uh, let me talk a little bit about funds. Uh, now, funds is a, is a is a platform that is, I don't want to say it's similar to Novatech, um, because you know it's it's kind of a different model altogether. However, it has similarities in the sense that you know you it, the average payout is around three percent a week. Now, again, not fixed. I want to be very clear about that. Okay, I, I don't want want you guys to get any misconceptions. It's not fixed. Okay, sometimes it'll be higher. Sometimes it'll be lower. Sometimes it'll be way higher. Sometimes it'll be way lower. Uh, on average, though, I'll be honest, over the last couple of weeks, it's been above that 3% average. So we haven't gotten our payout yet. It's pretty early here. It's around 8, 10 a.m. my time. Usually we get our payout around anywhere between 11 um, a.m. and 12 p.m. So around noon is when we get our is when we get our payout you know, loaded into our back office, sometimes earlier. Um, so I'll, I'll, you know, I'll let you guys know over on our Telegram what the payout was for this week. But funds is doing its thing. You know, the team has been together for six years. You know, there hasn't been any major significant issues. You know, the last issue that came up was the website was down for, um, I think, 48, not even 48 hours. The website was down. There was some server issues. But meanwhile, while they were, you know, while the, the server issues were happening, they were communicating a lot over on their Facebook page, over on their Telegram um, telling people, hey, you know, we're working on the issue. Give us a little bit of time. In the meantime, they were doing the the owners, the team, what they were doing zooms. They were doing zooms and talking about, hey guys, you know, this is how the, the project. Like they were doing overviews, like business as usual. So for me, you know, if a project is about to, you know, rug or exit exit scam, you don't usually have the owners doing zooms talking about, you know, how how the platform works. This is how you get in. Um, you know. People couldn't log into the office. It's not like it was a cash grab where people can still deposit, right? Um, there was no depositing because the website was down. So why would they be doing overviews, right? Unless they they were truly fixing it behind the scenes, they knew the website was going to come up and they were going to continue to keep running with the platform, right? So for me, gave me a lot of confidence. The owners, um, they are pretty transparent. They have a digital footprint on social media. You can reach out to them over on Telegram and Facebook. Now, I'm not telling you to go out there and bombard their inbox. Um, but I've had messages, you know, back and forth with them where if I, if I had a question, I'd send them a message. I'll get a reply back from uh, both Brian and JP, right? And uh, both Brian and JP have messaged me in the past saying, hey, if you need anything, if you want us to jump on, you know, your channel or do an interview <clears throat> or do a Zoom call or something like that, or if you have anyone that, you know, has any questions and, you know, we could be of service, let us know. I mean, how, how often do you have owners that are, you know, open and willing to put themselves out there for you like that? So, you know, for me, funds continue to do it's continuing to do its thing. It is a USDT TRC20 platform. So make sure you have USD, uh, USDT uh, TRC, TRC20. That's on the Tron network. You deposit, you stake your funds, no pun, no pun intended. And then you earn every Friday, you'll get a return on stake on your deposit. And again, there is an optional affiliate side to it if you want to build that. Okay. So funds continues to do its thing. I'll let you guys know what the payout is later on. <clears throat> IX Global, uh, quick, quick, uh, quick update for IX Global. Um, as you guys probably already know, if you've watched my last, you know, two updates, um, Hosting, okay, you're going to have to host your own licenses starting January 4th. Several ways to do that. If you are tech savvy and you know how to, you know, host them yourself, you can certainly do that. They'll give you the option to host it yourself. I'm not tech savvy like that. I'm not interested in hosting it myself. Uh, remember, if you're, if you're, you know, computer you know, powers down or, you know, if something happens, you're not going to be earning, right? Uh, so for me, I'd rather have them host it for me on my behalf, right? So the way you can do that is, Again, there's a couple of ways that they're going to give you options, but the easiest way is to get a virtual debt box, okay? Get yourself a V-Box and you are good to go. So January 4th, you're going to need to have, you know, your own hosting setup. You can buy your V-Box right now, right in the IX Global back office. Um, however, on January 1st, um, on January 1st, there will be a price update, okay? Um, right now, it's $750 for one V-Box. One, one VBox can host up to 20 licenses. So if you have several different licenses, um, you know, as long as you have 20 or less, you can host them host them all on one VBox. However, if you have more than 20 licenses, you might have to buy more than one VBox. 
again, most people only, you know, need about, you know, they'll, they'll need, you know, one V-Box, okay? Because they'll have, they usually have 20 licenses or less for most people, unless you're a big dog. And in that case, you know, you get yourself two boxes. Uh, but again, the, there will be a price update on January 1st. I'm making this video on December 30th. So by the time you watch this video, you know, the price update may have already happened. So get you your V-Box ASAP and you're good to go, okay? Uh, again, it's the easiest way to do it. Like I said, for me and for most people, I'm not interested in hosting these licenses myself. I don't even have the knowledge to do so. Okay, now if you're, you know, Mr. Tech Savvy or Miss Tech Savvy and you know how to host, you know, nodes and that sort of thing, then by all means, you can do it without purchasing a VBox. But again, it's the easiest way to do it. Okay, um, again, go to my Telegram, guys. I've been posting about IX Global in there. Um, I've given updates on, you know, the price of the debt token. Debt token, you know, a year ago was one cent. Um, last time I checked, you know, debt was, I think, 16 bucks or something like that. I haven't checked today. Uh, could be higher, could be lower, but it was around 16 bucks and change. Imagine getting the token a year ago at one cent or mining it, and now it's at 16 bucks and change. I mean, that's a big come up, right? Again, future future performance is not guaranteed, as we all know, right? But man, people who got in early on the debt token, you know, they're, they're doing well, okay? Um, now, is that a guarantee that that's going to happen for Black Gold and Nat G and uh, Aluminum and Explore and Grow and Digital Link Gold and et cetera, et cetera? No, there's no guarantees, okay? But again, the tokenomics are very similar. You know, I'm I'm holding on to my Nat G tokens. I'm mining them because, again, I'm not looking to sell them right now. I'm looking for where is this going to be in a year, right? People who got into debt a year ago, they're pretty happy, okay? Um, now, the debt licenses to mine the debt tokens were previously sold out they released a few extra licenses i think five thousand were given to ix global it's a first come first serve basis i believe they're almost sold out if you want to buy a debt debt license you can certainly do that or you know if you want to get some of the other tokens you could do that as well uh, make sure as i've mentioned many many times before but i still get questions on this you set up your ix global account or just use the link down below in the description box or the link tree set up your account purchase your license from your ix global back office and then it'll automatically create a debt box account for you you can use the same credentials to log in that you use to set up your ix global account and from there you can see all your mining rewards you can manage everything from there but go through the ix global back office okay all right let's talk about easybot we go to the EasyBot site right quick. Okay, so EasyBot, as you guys know, um, you know it's a it's a it's a bot that you attach to your KuCoin account or your Binance account, whichever one you use. Those are the two exchange accounts that it can connect to. You load up funds into your exchange account, and then you allow EasyBot to trade those funds. Okay, you know, so again, you're not going to get any DGen numbers from this. You're not going to make. 1% a day or 2% a day or anything like that. Uh, but if you're interested in, you know, four, five, 6% a month and you're okay with that, um, this might be something that, you know, you might be looking for. Okay. If you're not interested in giving custody of your funds to a third party, if you're not interested in allowing EasyBot access to your funds, because again, they don't have access to your funds. They can only trade your funds, but they can't withdraw your funds. So again, the safety of that. You know, if you if you if you like that, not that I'm saying I'm not saying that this is risk free because you're still exposed to the market and you have your funds on an exchange, which, you know, exchange having your funds on an exchange, you know, there's a, a whole other set of risks there. OK, but as far as, you know, easy bot rug pulling and withdrawing your funds and running away with your funds, that's just not going to happen. OK, so if you like that and you're OK with, you know, five percent a month average, I'm not saying you're going to make 5%. It all depends on, you know, what what coins you're trading, how many bots you have, et cetera, et cetera. But on average, if you're, in, if you're interested in that type of result, this might be something you might want to take a look at. Our team just crossed over 1,300 team members, so we're excited about that. Um, awesome. You know, team is continuing to grow. Before you know it, we'll cross that 2,000 team member mark and It'll be awesome. Okay, so this is, a, again, for me, I've said it before, I'll say it again, this is a long-term play. You know, I'm just letting my bots run, make profit for me, and I'm good to go. Okay, uh, Validus, uh, let me head on over to Validus. Let 
Okay, so with Validus, uh, this one here is doing its thing. I think the payout this Monday, this one, uh, the passive payouts are put in your back office on Mondays. Um, it was 2.35% this week. Um, this is another one of those platforms that pays out, you know, between 2 and 3% a week. And for whatever reason, you know, they've just cracked the code on being sustainable. They've been out for over a year already, and it continues to grow. The, 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 the global membership is over a quarter million members. And it's continuing to increase every single week. So, you know, Validus is doing its thing. Just want to remind you guys that on Thursdays, um, Thursdays are their time, right? Which is usually around 2 p.m. Eastern Thursday all the way to 2 p.m. Eastern Friday, that 24-hour block of time, um, you can make your withdrawals. Okay, so you go ahead, you can withdraw your Bitcoin out of your, out of your wallet. If you don't withdraw it, it'll get compounded uh, for the next week. Okay, so... Again, if you want to withdraw it, make sure you withdraw. But Validus is continuing to pay out. Uh, what I like about it is, again, the withdrawals are in Bitcoin. And it's like I'm buying, you know, I, every time I make a withdrawal out of this thing, it's like I'm buying Bitcoin at a discounted price at 16 and change, 16K and change, whatever it is. And when Bitcoin comes up, and it will at some point, you know, I'll be glad that I was, you know, buying every single week via my Validus withdrawals, all right? So again, Validus continues to pay out. If you want to check it out, I will leave a link down below. Uh, TT Global, this one here is, again, another platform I don't really talk about too much, but it's just doing its thing. Now, uh, depending on what strategy you're using, you're making anywhere from 7% to 12.5% per month. Let me see if I can go to the, um, to the Telegram. Give me one second here. Let me see if I can find the Telegram page. All right. Okay. Uh, so you can, this is not, this is not the official page. This is our team page. The official page has over 10,000 plus members in it. Uh, but most of the posts are in Korean. So I don't really understand that. Uh, so I kind of just plug in here, see what's going on. Um, they just had an update over at their IDC center. They, I think they put in some new machines. There's a video here somewhere. I don't know if it's this one. No, that's not a video. That's a pic. Um, but there's a video here somewhere that they talk, they talk about it. But again, this one's been running. It's been doing its thing. Um, I'm not going to play the sound here because I think there's music on this. I don't want to get it. I don't want to get hit with any type of copyright, but this is their office. This is their IDC center, one of their IDC centers, and they have people come in for tours all the time. I think somebody was doing a tour or something, or they were just, you know, touring it for, for a video, but this is their, their ID center. I believe this is the one in Seoul. And this is, a, you know, how they get their profit. It's a mine, it's a mining platform. That's why we're not getting some, you know, crazy, ridiculous, you know, numbers, because uh, obviously mining doesn't pay out that high. But again, if you if you like platforms that, you know, 7% a month is not bad, okay? All, all things considered. Um, you know, it's lower than some, some of these other platforms. But again, I like to have some of these platforms that, you know, might pay a little bit lower, but they just run for a long time. Of course, I can't guarantee how long this is going to run, but it's been running for six months already. Right? So, so you know, this is a video. I'm not going to play the whole thing here. But they they give a tour of their um of their uh you know their mining facility here inside of this facility they do meetings they do seminars they have people come in and they do presentations and you know people join this thing all the time so inside of South Korea this is pretty big outside of South Korea there's not a whole lot of people um you know in this platform as you can see there's only two hundred members but again you know it's it's been out for six months and it's been paying um doing its thing. What more can you ask for in this type of market? In this type of market climate, as you know, <laughs> we're in a bear market. Platforms are falling by the wayside every single week. There's rug pulls, exit scams, that sort of thing. And you have a platform like this that just kind of runs. It's been running for six months. You know, doesn't have all the bells and whistles. It's not sexy. It doesn't have all the hype, but it pays, right? So that's cool with me. All right, so let me go ahead and go to the next platform. If you want to check this out, I will leave a link down below. Um, 
Uh, let's see here. Okay, so Validus. Okay, T, that was uh, TT Global, right? BNB Miner. Again, I'm still in BNB Miner. It's just doing its thing. It's paying out little by little, right? Um, we'll see if there's a third spike. Be interesting, okay? Because there's a lot of people in the community. There's still quite a bit of BNB in there as well. Um, will it have a third spike? I don't know. We'll see. Um, but so far, there's been two major spikes. It's come down. It's been trending sideways. We'll see if it has another spike. Bonanza, I don't really have any updates for Bonanza. It's just kind of doing its thing. Um, so these are some of the OG platforms that I'm in. When I say OG platforms, that means I've been in there for a couple of months. Um, some of the newer platforms that I've been in for, let's say, a week, week and a half. Let me talk a little bit about them. Uh, first one I'll talk about is Fusion Experience. I had a few people ask me some questions about Fusion Experience. I'll give you my opinion on Fusion Experience right now. Um, all right. So I've had a few people ask me, hey, what's your confidence level with them? Are you in? Should I get in? First of all, again, I don't give any financial advice. I can't tell you to get in or not get in. Okay, that's totally up to you. As far as my confidence level with Fusion Experience, um, it's still, you know, I'm still on the fence with them. I'm still kind of watching them. I'm plugged into their Telegram and their Facebook group. Um, they're supposed to be relaunching again. Um, <laughs> uh, you know, their their 2.0 relaunch. Um, I know when I logged into my back office, I was I did my KYC and I was uh, verified. Um, and then when I logged into my back office, I was it, it showed that I wasn't KYC'd and I wasn't verified. It wasn't giving me access to my account. It said I had to do my KYC again. So I looked, you know, into the Telegram and you know what people were saying. And apparently they, because they changed their verification process before they required you to do it with a credit card, now they're allowing you to do it in crypto. You know that dollar verification. They refunded everybody who did it with a credit card. And they're saying, look, we we refunded you, um, so you have to do it again, okay, and pay that dollar in crypto, which means you have to do the whole KYC thing again, which is not a hard thing, but it's like, man, I was already KYC'd already, and I got to do it again, and you know, as long as I'm I as long as I'm not allowed in my back office, I'm not earning, right? So in order for me to earn, I have to go through the KYC again, which I'll probably do it because again, I do have funds in this, I might as well be earning, um you know, on, uh, on a daily basis with their arbitrage bot, but we'll see, you know, I want to, you know, you know, some platforms, they, they have issues. Okay. <laughs> they have issues when they're trying to launch. Um, am I happy about platforms that have issues like this? No, I wish everything was smooth, but what can I do? Right. I'm, I'm just going to watch it a little bit, you know, keep a loose eye on it and hopefully they can get it together. Okay. Um, so, you know, would I be putting new funds into this thing for me personally? Well, Aside from the fact that I already have funds in it, but I'm not going to be adding any new funds into it because again, I'll, I want to see if they can just you know get their stuff together and you know have it run smoothly, right? Um, it was running pretty smooth, and then they did the whole redo your verification thing, and you know now I'm locked out of my not I'm not locked out of my office. I can log in, but it says I need to do you know as soon as I log in, there's a screen that says I got to do my KYC again, otherwise I'm not going to be I won't earn for the you know for the day, right? Um, so again, stay tuned for that. I'll, I'll keep a loose sign and I'll give you an update on, on that. But, you know, if you want to redo your KYC and verification, um, you know, just redo it. If, if that's too much for you, then, you know, you, you don't have to do it. <laughs> it's totally up to you. Um, FX Master Gold, this one here has been working great. Um, it's been working smooth. I mean, I've, I haven't had any issues with it. Let's see here. Um, I haven't had any issues personally. You know, there has been people that said, "Hey, does 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 a uh, does Absolute Market, which is a third party broker for FX Master Gold, you know, they do they allow withdrawals? We heard they don't allow withdrawals. Everything seems to be working as far as I know. Um, you know, let me know if you guys are in this or if you're using Absolute Market as a third party broker. Are you having issues with withdrawals? I haven't had any issues. It's working perfectly fine for me. Um, and FX Master Gold, it's it's you know again it's paying out. It's you know I'm I'm way up on my account. Um, their goal is to profit fifteen percent a week. Um, now again it's not fixed. That's their goal. Okay, there are some weeks they're not going to hit it. There's some weeks that they're you know going to be going for it. There's some weeks that they may hit it. Right, but the goal is fifteen percent a week. That's aggressive. That's like sixty percent a month. Of course, there's a twenty eighty split because they take twenty percent as a service fee, which is pretty common right that's a common thing with these type of platforms so i'm not worried about that 
but still 60%, um, you know, gross profit. Um, that's pretty aggressive, right? Um, they have an 80% trading accuracy. It's pretty simple to use, guys. What you want to do is you want to create an absolute market account. I'll leave a link for that down below. You want to complete your KYC, fund it. Once you fund it, you send an email to absolutemarkets.com. Um, just copy and paste this email right here. It says here, please link my MT4 account number, which is your account number, right? To so the FX Master Gold Trading Strategy, 20% profit sharing weekly, lot size by equity. You send that to them, and within a couple of hours, at least for me, it was a couple of hours. Maybe it might be 24 hours now because, you know, there are people, you know, the, the platform is growing. Um, but in short order, they'll get back to you saying, hey, you're connected. You don't got to do anything else. You're good. You're good. We just want to send you an email to confirm that you're connected. Not those words, obviously. I'm paraphrasing. Um, but that's it. You know, set it and forget it. And then you can withdraw your profits from your from absolute markets right? Which is a third party broker. I had someone say, well, can we connect it to another third party broker? If I'm, if I'm using such and such broker or such and such broker? No, the one they use is absolute markets. I don't know why that's just, that's the one they're connected to. So you got to use the absolute markets, you know, third, third party broker to connect to FX master gold. Okay. Uh, let me see if I missed anything. And that's pretty much it. Again, if you want to check it out, I will leave links down below. Like I said, it's working perfectly fine for me. I have no issues with it. So, you know, I know I've had some people message me saying, hey, you know, you know, I've heard some things about, about absolute markets. They don't allow withdrawals. I haven't had any issues. So, you know, so far, so good. Um, anyway, let's talk about crypto program. Okay, crypto pro program continues to grow. I've been posting over on our Telegram some of the testimonials from the private Facebook group. And um, yeah, there's everyday people that are making and cranking out passive income with this. Pretty awesome. Okay, you earn 25% a month. Um, it's it's USDT ERC20 is what you deposit, by the way. Again, ERC20 on the Ethereum network. Okay, not to be confused with USDT on Tron, USDT on you know Binance Smart Chain. It's USDT ERC20. Okay, so biggest thing with this, if you're gonna make a deposit. <clears throat> make your deposit via either either our MetaMask wallet or Exodus, an Exodus wallet. Those are the two that I use. Um, if you make it, if you make a deposit um, from Coinbase, from KuCoin, from Crypto.com, from Kraken, from whatever, all these other wallets, your your packages aren't going to get activated right away. They will get activated, but it's not going to get activated right away. They're going to probably take four days, something like that because Ed will have to go in and manually search for these packages and update it himself manually. And again, he's running around, he's busy, he's handling stuff in the private Facebook group. You know, God knows how busy he probably is, right? Um, if you want it to get activated automatically, simply use a MetaMask or Exodus wallet to make your deposit. Now, that being said, I know there are some of you guys that are new um, and maybe don't use Ether the Ethereum network or Exodus much, right? If you're going to make a deposit with Exodus um, or, Ether or a MetaMask, right? Because it's, an, it's a USDT ERC20 token you're using on the Ethereum network, you do need to have Ethereum in your wallet to cover the fee. So, for example, if you're using Exodus and you're sending ERC, uh, USDT ERC20, you do need to have Ethereum in your Exodus wallet to cover the fees. I've had some, uh, you know, teammates of mine who sent over from Exodus and they're saying, hey, it's, you know, the funds aren't leaving Exodus. It's, it's not connecting to crypto program. The funds aren't leaving Exodus. That has nothing to do with the crypto program. It's because they didn't have Ethereum to cover the gas fees in their Exodus wallet, okay? And of course, you need same with MetaMask. You need to have Ethereum in your MetaMask, MetaMask, MetaMask wallet to cover the fees when you're sending USDT ERC-20. Um, once you send it from there, you're good to go. You know, the, the the packages will get activated automatically and then you'll earn passive income, you know, uh, next, the following month, right? It's 25% a month. Um, I've had people say, well, if it's 25% a month and after four months, I made 100%, do I continue to earn? Yes, you will continue to earn as long as you, you don't cancel those packages. If you don't cancel those packages, then you will continue to earn because they'll you know, what you're doing, it's a private loan. You're simply allowing them to use your funds so they can arbitrage, you know, do the arbitrage traffic. They make their profit and then they pay you 25% per month. Think of it as interest, right? 
And then if you keep your funds in there, they'll continue to do that every single month. That's the, how the platform works. Of course, not saying that this is risk-free, right? I want to be very clear about that. All of these platforms have risk. They're crypto platforms. They're Forex platforms. They're passive income platforms. They all have risk, guys. So make sure you manage your risk. Make sure you're okay with the risk. Do your research and only put in what you can afford to lose. But I'm pretty bullish on crypto program. I, I really think they can be around for quite a bit. Again, uh, I'm an affiliate like everybody else. I don't have any inside information. I'm not connected to Ed. By the way, Ed's not the owner, okay? He's just kind of the 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 master distributor, the super affiliate, if you want to call him that, right? I don't, I don't, I don't know what his title is, um, but he's not the owner. He's just kind of like the liaison between the field and the owners. The owners, you know, they're the ones that are doing the arbitraging and on the back end creating profit. Um, so again, that being said, you know, who who knows how this how long this thing will run? All I know is that you know it, it just got open to the public recently. It's very very new. Prior to that, they ran it as a private uh, private group for six months. Those people are super duper happy. They're obviously way in profit. The people that got in early, they were kind of beta testing it, and then you know they just opened it to the public recently. So it's a it's a new platform. It's a very new platform, and I know I know there's a lot of people that are jumping into this thing. Uh, but yeah, it's working perfectly fine. If you want to check it out, I will leave a link down below. Um, I can't, you know, show the private Facebook group because that it's private. <laughs> that's, that's, why, that's why it's called private. I can't show them. That. Unless you're a member and you're on the team, then we can put you in the Facebook group. But what I will say is the Facebook group has been growing like wildfire. When I first got in or when I first take, was doing research on this, there was, I think, less than 800 people. It was less than 800 people in the private Facebook group. In just a matter of like two weeks, that 800 turned into 1,700. So more than doubled in size in the last week and a half, two weeks or whatever it was you know, that I got in. And um, it, it's continuing to grow every single day. So the, the, the group, the private group is growing. Word is getting out. You know, if you want to get into something that's early, you know, check out Crypto Program. Again, I will leave a link down below if you want to check it out. All right, guys. Super bullish on crypto program. We'll talk about that again on a, on, a, on a, another standalone update video. Uh, follow me on Telegram if you want to see some of those testimonials. They're pretty awesome. Um, all right, guys. Prosperity Gem Ventures. Uh, pretty big update for Prosperity Gem Ventures. Let me let me go to their site. Okay, so this is a contract that I got into. Um, I threw ten k, ten boxes of ZD. I threw a uh, 10 large into this thing <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's, it's doing its thing. It's doing its thing. Um, the TVL, I will say the TVL is, you know, has come down, but that's to be expected because they closed, you know, new deposits coming in. I mean, that's just, I mean, that's pretty logical that that would have happened. Right. Um, now that being said, um, they are opening up new deposits and putting the, the new deposit feature back on the site on February 1st. So in like 30 days. Okay. So in like 30 days, they're going to allow people to um withdraw and not withdraw. You can withdraw anytime. Okay. Um, you can back matter of fact, you can withdraw and claim anytime. Um, but as far as new deposits going in, um, they're going to put that back uh, on the UI on February 1st in 30 days. Now, that being said, if you want to um, if you want to deposit via the contract and you know how to do that, you can certainly do that as well. Um, but as far as having it on the website here, they're going to open that back up on February 1st. Okay. Uh, so again, this one pays out 2% a day. Um, it has a pretty solid community. The, 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 the owner and, and the team behind it, they're pretty transparent. I think they're good people. I mean, I haven't seen anybody, you know, I haven't really, I don't think they're malicious in any way, you know, shape or form. There hasn't been a lot of people, there hasn't been anybody that I've seen that have, has really, you know, talked bad about them or found bad information about them. Um, I think they're just, you know, solid dudes that, you know, put this contract together and they're, they wanted to put something out for the community and, you know, that's what they're doing. Um, it's, it probably hasn't been easy, but, you know, so far so good. There's, you know, they've created a lot of profit for a lot of people inside of this, uh, in this, in this contract. And again, if you're bullish on the team, okay, um, this might be something you might want to take a look at. Um, yes, again, I want to be transparent. The TVL has come down. Um, but again, that's to be expected when you're not allowing new deposits. Once they open that back up, I'm pretty sure it'll shoot right back up. Um, but again, if they were malicious in any way, 
they would they would not be allowing people to claim. Okay, um, I just claimed twenty seven hundred, as you can see, uh, but they wouldn't be allowing people to claim. They're allowing people to claim. They're allowing people to get refunds. They're allowing people to do all that. Um, that tells me that you know they're not malicious people. Um, but you know we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens when um when they open this back up on the on the UI on February first. Uh, if you want to follow any you know news on them, make sure you join their Telegram. You do need to verify your wallet. Uh, one thing they're doing right now is they're cleaning up their Telegram. They're cleaning up their system. That's why they stopped the new deposits. They just want to get all the bad actors out, and they want to run with you know some serious people. You know, Manny has said in their Telegram, in their not their Telegram, in their Discord. I'm not really a Discord person, so you know it's so confused. There's so many things that are going on in there. I haven't hard enough time following my Telegram, right? But I'm in their Discord a little bit, and he I did see his message. He said, "Hey, you know, I'd rather have a few solid." you know, serious people that have thousands of people that are not serious, that have, you know, you know bad actors, right? So they are looking to clean that up. <clears throat> so that, all that being said, you do, you do need to verify your wallet when you join their Discord. Uh, but yeah, we'll see what happens here. Hopefully on February 1st, when they open this up, which is like in 30 days, um, we'll see the TVL, you know, start pumping again. But so far it's, you know, it's doing what it's doing, 2% a day, okay? Um, let me see if I missed anything. Oh, that's pretty much it. Okay. Let me show you my quick update for Daisy. Okay. Now, again, I talked about Daisy the other day. <clears throat> um, give me one second here. Let me get to our uh, let me get to where I need to get to right quick. Now with Daisy, if you're in North America, you do need to have a VPN. Okay. Now there's a lot of different VPNs you can use. Some are paid, some are free. You know, it's up to you. Use what you need to use. Um, but you do need to have a VPN. And you also need to have a Tron Link wallet. Tron Link is like the MetaMask wallet, but for Tron, okay? It's a, it's a, um, you can see here, it's a, it's a extension on the Chrome browser. Here's my MetaMask, here's Tron. And again, it's like MetaMask, but for Tron. So you need to, you need, you do need to have that wallet and you need to open it so it'll connect to the DAISY um, website. Obviously, you need to have USDT TRC20 in there because that's what you have to deposit. But like I said before, just like Ethereum, you need to have Ethereum if, if you're going to be sending USDT ERC20, or you need to have BNB in your wallet if you're sending whatever tokens on the Binance Smart Chain. <clears throat> Excuse me. You need to have Tron. You need to have Tron TRX in your Tron link wallet to send your funds. I've had people say, Hey, I'm trying to send my funds. It's not, it's not working because you don't have Tron. You don't have any TRX. So make sure you have some TRX in your wallet to cover the fees. The fees are very minimal, but you do need to have it to cover fees. Um, so, um, it says here, uh, the Forex AI 479% in only eight months. Uh, my last update was 466%. Obviously, you know, this thing is, it grows every day because of the payouts. Uh, but yeah, 479% in eight months. That's pretty uh pretty astounding. Now, again, that's a compounding effect. It's not, you know, that's not it's you know, if you're compounding, that's what you're making. But let me show you here the um the last day. Okay, so some people said, Hey, what does it pay out daily? Now again, it's not fixed, okay, because it's based on trading, so it's not a fixed amount every single day. However, this is what it paid out yesterday, 1.24% for the Forex AI. Now, crypto, is, it was negative 1.5%, but I'm not, you know, most people are not in the crypto AI because they were moved from the crypto AI to the Forex AI side, okay? So I don't think there's anybody in the crypto AI side, but the Forex side, we paid out 1.24%. Um, I think 414 members, uh, new members joined just yesterday, uh, which makes the membership base 177,777 accounts again this thing is continuing to grow it's been on for two years already so again it's solid team is solid team is transparent one thing i will say is you know there is kind of two sides to it there's the funding side and then there's a the trading side the funding side they have a global matrix okay um if you want to participate in that the trading side is the passive side where you're letting them trade your funds for you when you purchase a package or when you make a deposit rather not purchase a pack when you make a deposit 30 percent 
of your deposit goes to the funding side, okay? 70% goes to the trading side, okay? So for easy math, if you put a, if you put in $100, $70 of that $100 will go to your trading account and you'll be trading with that. The other $30 goes to the matrix, okay? Which you can earn money on the matrix just by being in the matrix because, you know, because of spillover, not guaranteeing that there's going to be any spillover, but that's how matrixes work. Um, you know, I want to be very clear on, on the, the split there. Now, right, I think between now and tomorrow, right, they have mo something called a momentum pack promo where 90% of your deposit will go into trading and 10% will go to the funding side. The, the 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 matrix side okay so if that's something you want to get into you might want to get into this asap okay by the time uh by the time you see this video it might you know that pro might be over but yeah this thing is doing what it's doing um all right so da that's daisy okay i'm going to be talking about daisy more i'll be probably doing uh an overview um so stay tuned for that but yeah this one here you know this could be a long-term project uh, last but not least, I think I have one more to talk about. Yeah, Yield Robot. Let me go to Yield Robot. Okay, so Yield Robot, guys, you guys may know if you watch my last video. It's a robot that pays out 2% a day. Um, you make a deposit in BUSD, put it in the bot, 2% a day is what you'll earn on this uh, if we take a look at the contract, uh, you can see here it broke 900,000. It passed 900,000. Now, in my original video, when I first took a look at this, um, it was hovering around 300,000, maybe less. When I decided to get in, it was at, uh, what, where was it? Maybe it was just a little bit above 300,000, right? And then I did an up, a, a post over on Telegram saying, hey, the contract is moving because it was at 580. It went to 580, right? I said, man, well, this thing hits 600,000. Um, well, it did, right? Because I posted another pic on my Telegram where I showed the contract and it was at 860 or something like that. I said, man, well, this thing hit 900. And sure enough, um, you know, that was yesterday or yeah, last night. And sure enough, it's over 900,000 already on its way to a million. You know, we'll see if it hits a million, but it certainly looks like that's true. That's the trajectory of the contract. This thing hits over a million. That's going to be pretty awesome because, it's, again, you want to get into these things when they're early, when they're growing, when the TVL is moving up, and you want to ride that upward swing, right? Um, so, again, if you want to check out Yield Robot, not saying it's it's risk-free, guys, okay? I want to be very clear. All of these platforms are risky. This one pays out 2% a day. So th that should tell you this is more on the higher end of the scale when it comes to risk. But if you're okay with that, and you like getting 2% a day, you might want to check this one out, okay? Again, the risk is 50 days. If you're totally passive, the risk is 50 days. If you can hit that 50-day mark, 2% a day times 50 days, that's 100%. You'll be at the break-even point, everything above and beyond that for however long it runs. And I don't know how long it's going to run, but it'll be pure profit, right? It'll be just, it'll be just like withdrawing 2% of your deposit every single day. So, uh, yeah, if you want to check this out, I will leave a link down below. It runs on the Binance Smart Chain, as, as you probably already know, right? If you see BUSD here, you deposit BUSD, and you're off to the races. So, yeah, this one here is doing its thing. It's growing. You know, what else You know what else more can you want, right? <laughs> in this, like I said, in this type of market climate, you, know, you want to have a contract that's growing. You want to join something that's new, and uh, this one here is doing well. So, yeah, that's pretty much about it, guys. Again, if you want to check any of these platforms out, I think that's it. Yeah, a lot of platforms I cover, guys. If you want to check any of these platforms out, I'll leave links down below. As always, guys, do your own research. Uh, risk capital only, okay? Um, you want to diversify your portfolio. You don't have to be as diversified as I am. I'm in I'm in a lot of platforms, right? You might want to just have maybe three, three platforms or four platforms, but diversify. You might have a platform that you favor, a platform that you might be heavier in, but you want to diversify. So if something happens, you have two, three, four other things that are paying you. Like for me, you know, if something happens to one of these platforms, you know, I have 10 other things that are creating passive income. I won't skip a beat, right? Do I want anything to happen? Of course not, right? But I diversify and spread the risk. So if something does happen, 
you know, it just, you know, I can continue to go on, right? Um, I can move on, you know, look for a replacement platform and, and you know, move on because um, all these platforms are, you know, they're doing their thing. Uh, so again, um, diversify. And as always, guys, make have a strategy or a goal to pull your seed capital out. Don't just compound to the moon. Pull your seed capital out at some point. That way you just have house money. You just have profits in these platforms. And then you've essentially removed all the risk at that point, right? Um, so yeah, have a, have a, have a goal to pull your seed capital out. All right. That's pretty much it guys for this video. I know it went pretty long, but have to cover a lot of different things. Um, hopefully you guys are having a great week in between Christmas and New Year's. I know, I know it can be hectic. It is for us. Um, so it's hard to keep up with some of these platforms when, you know, you're dealing with family and holidays and et cetera, et cetera. But hopefully you got some value from this video. And like I said, um, if you want to check any of them out, I will leave links down below. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I will catch you on the next one. Follow me on Telegram. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that little bell icon. That way you'll get notified straight away whenever I do a brand new video. And I'll talk to you soon. Peace.